My name is Sophie Gwydalyn. I am a absolute weirdo. I'm a lot. I am a heart-led director. I do everything with love and meaning. I absolutely love women and I love helping women. Mum goes to the gym. She plays with the twins and goes for bike rides listening to music on full speaker. My mum is the opposite of extroverted. She likes to just sit in a room on a computer and just chilling out. She doesn't like going out on the weekends, meeting new people. She just hangs out in her bubble. I don't want to go to the Burley Pav. I don't want to do that. I would much prefer to go to my beach and go swimming and spend the day with my kids. And for somebody else, that might be so boring and that's fine. But for me, that's all I want to do. Mum goes to Bunnings about three or four times a week, probably. Just looks around, comes home with the most random stuff. The other day she came home with a chainsaw. It wasn't a very good chainsaw. She used it once and then now it's just in the garage. There's like, like 18 jobs being done right now. There's a lot to, to unpack here. I started a renovation and the renovation looks worse than before. There's like the back over there, the trampoline out there. People think that the before is the after and I don't know what to do. How did you plan it beforehand? I planned it in my head. My head just didn't plan the planning. <laughs> I told you to write it down. You said, nah, it'll be all right. I've got it all in my head. Yeah. yeah that's how it, it looked better in my head. Yeah. The rocks, the, the tree out the front, <laughs> just everything's getting done. This is my Marcus Aurelius Meditations. Now, this here is the best thing ever, and it is an organometer. I can't pronounce the word clearly. Organometer. Organometer. I might put it on the screen. Um, basically, it's got all these coils. I'm going to sound so woo-woo that I'm not going to even tell you. And if you end up looking it up because you want to, that's a you issue and not a me issue. The, of the three grand crystal that's just in the ground for no apparent reason. Apparently, it's going to bring good energy. I've stubbed my toe on it at least six times. Mom's had a definitely a big year. Last year was so hard. Like. I'm not gonna sit here and claim rainbows and butterflies because it was really hard. And from the bottom, I had a whiteboard and I had three things every day that I had to do. Make my bed, have a shower and brush my teeth. But to see her get on her feet now is really exciting. And to see her like starting to be more motivated and starting to be more confident and what she does is really, is really inspiring and motivational. Most of my side I've ever had. <laughs> when was the lowest point of confidence that you saw? Um, probably after Pixie. I think you were just really low. You just didn't do a whole lot. You weren't motivated. But yeah. You kind of just like slatched around, you didn't move a whole lot. You kind of just got some munchies from the cupboard, went and just sat in your room and like worked and stuff. It was just like really late mornings and early nights. It's been so hard to go through everything that I've gone through in the public eye for my children. And it's been really hard to feel like don't cry, don't cry. To feel like you are the reason that your children are being dragged through the media and knowing that you are the reason that your children are being dragged through the media. So for me, this is the best possible thing that I could ever do because I know it makes them proud and it's something that is really important to me. And I feel so blessed to be their mum. Life now compared to then, was, it's like, happy there's a, di there's a different kind of like vibe like now there's like energy around the household instead of it just being like dark and gloomy like this it was almost like a metaphorical like fog but now there's like <laughs> it's like happy sunshines wherever you walk and stuff it's nice they 
tap out because they know I'm the boss. Do you want to flex our legs and see who wins that one? Yeah, mate, I do. Alright. Oh, what? Uh, okay. I can do it from the front because mine is so big. My mum is nothing like whatever you would read. She does not do anything that would be like negative in any way. She just tries to inspire and help young ladies and to be their better selves. And she's perfect, I guess. Very proud of mum. She's done a lot of good in a not very good world. So, yeah. The end.